Hello there. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'd be talking about the best way to choose car speakers. Don't go anywhere. The sound of your audio system is heavily dependent on the car speakers. Your audio system may have the greatest amplifier and radio that is available on the planet. But if there is no good speaker backing that up, all that greatness goes to waste. This is why you need to know how to choose car speakers. Choosing the car speaker that is fit for your car would go a long way in making sure you enjoy premium sounds. In this video, we would look at some of the factors that you would need to consider before spending that cash. But before that, we'd take a look at some other information that you need to have. Car speakers have various designs. The speakers you see in cars are all built to work in a particular frequency range. Generally, the subwoofers are good at giving off sounds with frequencies that are lower than 80 Hz. The midrange speakers usually handle sounds that are between 80 Hz and 4 kHz. Additionally, the tweeters can play sounds that are at 4 kHz and above. A lot of other things affect the sound of the car speaker. Things like the weight and size of your speaker diaphragm or cone. How stiff the suspension component of the speaker affects the speaker's frequency response. So, since the speakers operate in ranges, it is important that you buy speakers that can cover the range of sounds that can be heard by human beings. Now, for car speakers, there are generally two kinds of speakers. You either get coaxial speakers or component speakers. Component speakers have the tweeters and the midrange separately. You would usually find the tweeter on the dashboard, high on the door or sitting comfortably on the car's pillars. The speakers are placed on high so that it would feel as though the sound is coming from before you instead of from the legs. However, midranges of the component speakers are usually located at the dashboard or factory door. On the other hand, coaxial car speakers usually have two kinds of drivers that are separate. The accompanying tweeter is mounted with the midrange. The tweeter sits atop a post which extends upwards to the speaker's center. It is quite easy to install coaxial speakers, unlike component speakers. This is because the coaxial speakers just have two pieces instead of four like you find in the component speaker. Whether you choose a component speaker or coaxial speaker, you've made a good choice. But you have to understand that some of the great options for speakers around the world are usually made as component speakers. One common thing that you find among car speakers of high quality is a strong crossover network that is passive. Tweeters need to always limit the frequency range which is directed to it. For an audio system that is well set, the midrange and the tweeters have a way of handling similar frequencies. Once the audio system finds that the midrange is playing a frequency that is already being played by the tweeter, it filters out that of the midrange. Tweeters also help to give some foundational tuning to the overall audio system. It is best to test the speaker in the car. Most times, people have personal opinions when it comes to accessing how a speaker sounds. But that does not mean you cannot make the right decision when it comes to listening to the speaker. You would definitely know the difference between a speaker of high quality and a basic speaker. Most car speakers are designed such that it would sound better when you try them out in the car and not outside of it. This, therefore, means that the best place to test the speaker is in a car, not on the display board. The only benefit of the display board is that you have a wide array of options all at the same time. You can make a quick choice from any of them there. But the best way to test the speaker is to get into a test car and see how these speakers actually perform in cars. Get into the car and play your best song. A song that you must have heard over time with various types of output devices, home theater, phone, earphones, CD, iPod, and other devices. Play the song, then listen to varying parts of the song. When you do this, you are able to sample the speaker and know if it is worth it. If you cannot find a test car, you can do this test on the display speaker and make your decision. When you are listening, pay attention to the vocalist and be sure it sounds natural. And if it doesn't, there may be a case of poor speaker quality. 
Most speakers with low quality send out unwanted resonance from the speaker's mid-bass region. You could also listen to make sure that the speaker does not sound nasal or harsh, those are usually caused by poor speaker design. You should also pay attention to the high-pitched sounds, they sound like hi-hats or cymbals. They should have detail and clarity. You should listen to how the speaker transits from one frequency to another. Drumming is one of the best ways to test and see if a speaker can send out a wide variety of frequencies. It also shows how well a speaker can transit. How to choose car speakers. The size matters. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. As far as sounds go, the car speaker size greatly influences the sound output. The big speaker has more surface area that can move some more amount of air per power that has been supplied. This is referred to as efficiency. How the speaker's magnet and coil structure is designed would definitely affect the performance of the speaker. Most times, the larger the speaker, the deeper the bass. This is dependent on the speaker's cone weight and the flexibility of the suspension of your car speaker's components. Finally, the movement of the car speaker cone is another factor that determines the loudness of the speaker. You also have to get an amplifier. The amplifier is what supplies enough power to the cone of your speaker. How to choose car speakers. There are various ways you can choose car speakers. The first way is according to price range. There are so many companies that manufacture car speakers. And there are car speakers for every price range you can think of. You could get a car speaker that is within a 200 United States dollars range and you can also get one that can cost over 1000 United States dollars. The much you will spend on your car speaker is totally dependent on your budget. We put the price first because no other factor is as important as this. Supposing you have the right speaker in mind and all but you do not have the cash, all that would amount to nothing. Hence it is always important that the cash issue is trashed out first. Before you go to get a new speaker, you ought to have a budget you are working with. We always advise that while shopping for electronics, it is always better to have a price range in mind. This is because salespeople are crafty with words. Sometimes they take advantage of your ignorance of the price of things in order to make you buy something at an outrageous price. Generally, the more cash you have, the more access you would get to better and quality products. But you have to be careful. Sometimes the cost is just for the brand name and not necessarily for the quality of the car speaker. The second way is according to your car type. Compatibility is an especially important factor when you are choosing the car speaker you want to purchase. You do not want to spend that amount of money and discover that the speaker does not match your car. Hence, the need for you to ensure that the speaker matches, first of all, your stereo. The stereo of cars can be split into two. High-powered stereo which can take up to 16 watts and more. And low-powered stereo which can take only 15 watts per channel or lower. If you have a stereo that needs low power, you have to pair it with speakers with sensitivities that are high. If you have a stereo that needs high power, you have to pair it with speakers that have low sensitivity. In the same vein, a speaker that is high powered can deal with a lot of power and can give out a better sound too. Now, if you are interested in getting the best out of your car's audio system, you might want to do more than just buy the speaker. You should consider getting a fresh stereo that would match the speakers, more like putting new wine in a new wineskin kind of thing. Secondly, you have to match the speaker to your car. It is not every speaker that can fit your car. So, before you flip out your credit card, you have to make sure that the speaker you are getting would fit the car. To know which speaker will be compatible with your car, you can check the speaker's user manual for information. Or you can simply ask the salesperson available. They would definitely help you out in selecting the speaker that would match your car. Thirdly, according to style. You can either choose to buy a component speaker or a full range speaker. What you find in most cars are full range speakers. The speakers are usually placed on the doors in the front. An advantage of the full range speaker is that it is extremely easy to install and it does not take a lot of space. 
The type of output you listen to can greatly influence your decision on what type of speaker to buy. If the main thing you do with your car stereo is to listen to podcasts, audiobooks and radio then you should get a full range speaker. You would not even notice the difference between that and the component speaker. But if you are an avid lover of music and jams, you should get the component speaker. Because the difference between the two would be so clear for you to hear. The component speaker has a slightly better sound than the full range speaker. Do your research. This does not just apply to car speakers but pretty much everything electronics. Do not buy any product except after you have gone through customer reviews and seen how others who use the same product feel about it. Admittedly, there may be bias or wrong assertions, but you would gain a lot of insight when you read the reviews of others on that product. From there, you can weigh the pros and cons and decide which choice you have to make. You can go online and search for the specification of the speaker you want to buy. This is also a good thing in the sense that if you finally want to choose, you can know which to take and which to refuse. Knowing the specification of the speakers would help you make a better choice. Do not just look at a product review on one site, go through several reviews, and compare results. The most popular and reputable sites would obviously have better options. The research is not only carried out online. You can also physically go to the store near you and make your choice. Online business is great, awesome even, but physical presence is still gold. That way, you are seeing what exactly you are getting. Also, you'd get to interact with the salesperson who would probably know better than you and can put you through any confusion. And since we talked about testing the speakers earlier, this is a proper avenue to do so, in person. Another advantage of going to the store is that you usually pay less when you want them to do the installation of the car speakers for you. This is the exact opposite when you order online, you would have to pay higher for the installation. Conclusively, choosing car speakers can be a bummer but with the use of the steps we have laid down in this video, you can make the right decision. The goal is to get a banging sound system and hopefully, we have given you steps to achieving that dream. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site, www.zimcarspeakers.com for more awesome car speaker content like this.